when did you decide that's it and I want to try something else? You know, I remember uh, I got picked up by the Philadelphia Eagles okay. right after my stint with the Redskins. Uh -huh. And I was picked up for the playoffs. And we lost to the 49ers in 97, early in January. It was a wild card game. We lost. And then I got a tryout at San Francisco. And I remember feeling being treated. I just, I remember just feeling so off and terrible. This guy threw this ball at me so hard, my finger uh, was bent backwards, and he was just like, come on, man. And I, I just was like, I had enough. Like, there was a moment, I had a Vontae Davis moment. What's that? When you just say, I'm done. Now, his was at halftime. <laughs> but, 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 I, but I gotta say this, I gotta say this. You know, I wanna say, you know, I got something to say about this. Sure. I love this. Go for it. People really, what bothers me is that with football, uh, Vontae Davis was seen as some kind of disappointment, and it was hard. But let me tell you, he actually had it together. He actually realized there's someone better that needs to be out here. You know what I mean? I can't give what I need to give. And I think as a, as a, in, a in any workplace, if you can't give what you need to give, the best bet is to let someone else take that spot. And he was demonized, and it was kind of scary because people actually tried to say they would fight him for that. And I said, you know, football is a game. Football is not war. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can get it if you leave a guy in a, in a bunker in war, but if you leave the Army softball team, uh, is it that dangerous? You know what I'm saying? Well, so, I guess people were saying, Terry Crews here on the Rich Eisen Show, yeah. is that if Vontae Davis, it was a road game, he, would have had, he wouldn't have done what he did. Right, that it was convenient that his car was right in the parking lot and he left, and that he should have at least stayed the second half of that game. But if you're out there on the field and you know you've got zero left. Listen, first of all, I, I, mm -hmm. when I, my first year as a rookie, I remember when Mike Utley broke his neck. Broke his neck. For the Lions. Rams, Detroit. Mm -hmm. We were in Detroit. He broke his neck and never walked again. If he had a feeling right before that that I should stop, you got to respect it. You understand what I mean? Like, we're talking like paraplegic forever. Mm -hmm. And he came out, he gives thumbs up and the whole thing. But maybe if, if, if Mike Utley had got this thing where he said, you know what? I should stop. I should stop. You have to heed that. Mm -hmm. As a, any human being, any person, sometimes you get a little spidey sense where you say, man, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be standing here right now. And the light falls. You have to respect it. And when Bonte got that feeling, he was like, I got to get out of here. Something could happen. Who knows what could have happened in that second half? A lot of people like to say, oh, yeah, he should have done this and this. But you cannot speak for other people that way. Well, being around the NFL as long as I've been fortunate to be around Terry Crews again here on, on the Rich Eisen Show. Is that part and part of Vontae Davis, what he did, there was a lot of people who said he, he ran, he was a coward or whatever. To me, leaving the NFL and trying to figure out what to do next is a frightening venture yeah. for 100% of NFL players. That's right. Including, I mean, you know, I worked with Marshall Falk for years. He's one of my good friends to this very day. And virtually every running back that's about to be drafted in the NFL would sign, their, uh, sign on a piece of paper if they could have Marshall Falk's life that's right. and contract, right? Or his yeah. career, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And he had to figure out at age 32, 33 what to do next. That's it. Right? That's it. And so you, what you have been able to do with your post-playing career is remarkable. What would the Terry Crews that you just talked about playing football think of the Terry oh. Crews that's sitting here right now? Wow. You know, I, I, there was a moment when you have to come to the realization that the game is over. And that's hard. It's really, really hard. You got to understand, too. Um, football players don't live long simply because... You put everything into the game. You put everything into it. And then when it's over, it feels like a betrayal. I don't care how good you are. You know, it, it really feels like, well, this is it? Like, what's next? And I have to tell players all the time, I'm 50 years old, but I tell them all the time, that the beginning of your life is when the game ends. And I had to tell myself nonstop, while I was in L.A., sweeping floors, trying to find a way I told myself my best days are still ahead of me. I had it written down on my mirror, written down. I would write it in notebooks. Every time I felt doubt, I would say my best days are still ahead of me. And this belief is what fuels you. But what happens is, is, is everyone wants to talk about that Super Bowl back in 94. 
Everyone brings I'm that sorry. up. I'm you sorry. Know? And that's the thing. And they act like, well, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is they, they treat you as if you that was it. But the deal is, is that you have so much life left. There's so many things left, man. And um, well, I, I never got this realization better than when I started to travel. I started to do movies all over the world. I'm in South Africa. I'm in, I'm in Europe. I'm in, uh, you know, I'm in Hong Kong. And they never heard of the NFL. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at me like, you're a star. You're this and this. And I'm go, wow, the world is bigger than this. Now, I, I have to say this. To a farmer, everything's about farming. Mm hmm you know what I'm saying? It's all about, are we going to get that corn? Nah, nah, nah. But you leave the farm world and you go to, the, to San Francisco and you go to a tech company and you go, they're not thinking about the corn. <laughs> you know what I mean? You start to experiment and see that, mm -hmm. wow, there's much more than this. And I tell NFL guys all the time, use that ability, use your skill, the, everything, that, that stick-to-itiveness, that, that, that grit, use it in another form. And be prepared because your life still goes on. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.